Hello, I'm Philip Meyer. I'm an electronics engineer and uh, one of my hobbies is to uh, collect and restore old computers. Um, yeah, this time I want to show you how um, to solve uh, a little problem I have. Um, yeah, first I start with a message from a tech commercial. It is, uh, yeah, no floppies, no installation. And yeah, that's exactly the problem I have. I don't have any floppies. Okay, I have empty ones, but I have uh, an image <laughs> uh, what is booting successfully in the emulator, of course. But uh, yeah, how to how do we uh, get uh, uh, this into this here? Uh, can't be the way. So yeah, this video will be about. Um, how to create a basic boot floppy for PDP-11. The good news is if your PDP-11 is using an RX-33 floppy drive like mine does, then you won't have any problems. It's just a normal PC HD hard drive from Teak. And yeah, that's basically it. And you need all you need is a DOS computer with uh, an HD uh, drive as well. Um, I use the program Pooter, which is uh, coming from uh, Dbit. And if you click on download, um, here it is. And for several versions, I just use the current version. So that's it. And then, of course, we need uh, some images to write back. Unfortunately, the only source uh, of images uh, looks a bit weird today. Hopefully, it's coming back at some time. It's pdp11.co.uk. Um, this guy had a lot of images online um, and also an uh, RT11XM uh, boot floppy image which I use in this video because uh, uh, I have uh, made a backup of uh, all these images listed on this site. Uh, uh, sorry guys. This is my uh, disk copy workstation and I've already uh, prepared the pewter executable here and an RT11XM disk image and yeah, here I have, uh, I think I've shown that uh, to you before in a previous video but yeah, I'll explain once more, it's just a floppy unit with two floppy drives, both are jump hard, uh, two drive B and I can switch between them and I have a 360k byte floppy here and 1.2 megabyte floppy here and yeah, today we are dealing with 1.2 megabyte HD floppy uh, disks I have one, it's never used, it's a blank one completely new ok, let's go, I have to mount the floppy first and by typing mount B double point and have to mount it in foreign mode. And the floppy should be an RX33 floppy. So now it's mounted, and um, the first thing I have to do is um, give the floppy a format. I have to format it first before I write back the image. Um, which is a bit strange, but uh, has to be done, otherwise it won't, it won't work. So for mat B, so the image should be for RT11. And, oops. In RX33 mode. And now it's formatting the disk. It's 40 tracks. Uh, no, no, 80 tracks, sorry. So this might take a while.
Okay, for my just complete now, it prompts me for volume ID. Um, let's say RT11 minus XM. Owner name. So it's my nickname. No more disks, please. And now the fun part starts. You are writing back the image. So this is done with the copy command. Copy slash file slash dev. Basically, file to device. So yeah, file is rt. 11 minus xm dot dsk and the device is just b now let's go it's making some noise no output on the screen so um, yeah, looks like a success. Um, let's check if the floppy is booting. Here we go. That's floppy. Don't close the door yet. Set the machine on. It's powering on. So now it tries to look for a boot device and it's time to close the door now. Something it looks like uh, RT11. There's a version 5.05. Ah, come on, baby. The drive is still doing something, reading stuff from the disk. Now it prompts me for the date. Hopefully I do it right this time. Okay, it should be the first. Uh, in January. Invalid date again. Yeah, I always fuck it up, sorry. So, now let's show uh, the directory. And here it is. So, looks like um, we've booted the uh, operating system successfully. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed these uh, short walkthroughs through the floppy creation process. And yeah, the next uh, big thing will be to perform a real installation on the hard drive of this machine. So, see you in the next video for that. Goodbye.